Hello guys, welcome back. We are now on string methods. Methods are functions that belong to an object. In the introduction of the course, we said that everything in Python is an object, including all the data types. And all the data types are also classes, and classes are also objects. So, we have already looked at how we can declare strings how to index and slice strings there are all some extra tools that give us some options to work with strings now let's look at a lot more tools that can help us to work with string so when we look at the string directory using the dev function let's see what we have in there if we print this we are getting everything that is in the string object or string class all right so don't look at the ones with double underscore for now they are called danda methods we will look at them and the importance of them when we reach oop that is object oriented programming our focus should be on the ones that do not have the double underscore for now so we have capitalized case fold center count and code a lot more whole lot of methods here all right if you want to know how these work you can use the help utility to see what these methods do so if we print help and then str we get everything that they do so we will look at the ones with the underscores that is a danda methods all right we will go straight to here so capitalize return a capitalized version of the string so if you have a string called name here called john what we can do now is we can say print name then how we implement method is we bring most of them we have to bring dot first before we call the name of the method all right so dot then we say capitalize and then we bring bracket if we only have self here then it means it doesn't actually take any parameter the parameter is taken itself you look at these cells when we reach update oriented programming so if we print this we are getting john in capitalized form but you can see the sense I already capitalized the first letter all right so let me make it small letter and then if I print John you see it's now capitalized although the first character is a lowercase letter if I also say lower here you see the first letter will be capitalized so so that is what we can use the capitalized method to do we can also use a method called upper so if we say print then we say name dot upper we can find it here okay so if you go here down we have dot lower here can we see that return a copy of the string converted to lower case so the dot upper will convert everything to upper case so we have the dot upper here that is return a copy of the string converted to uppercase so if we print this we are getting everything in uppercase these things will come in handy very 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 well when we try to do some complex things we also have z fill here z fill let's see what it does part a numeric string with zeros on the left to fill a field of the given width so what this means is if your variable or your string is numeric and then you want to add some zeros in front of it then we can use the z fill so if we say print then we say num dot z fill what you should know is that the z fill takes a width it takes another parameter or argument apart from the self if the only thing in the method itself then it means not taking any argument all right but if there's another thing there then it means we are to put another argument there so what this means is that if you want to make the length of the string eight all right or let's say five 
then we say comma five it means the z, the z fill it means the z fill is going to put two zeros in front of the one two three so let's print this we are getting built-in method z fill oh he's giving us the location all right we have to bring the brackets here so if we print this oops we are getting an error str.z who takes exactly one argument zero given oh look at what i'm doing see i'm putting the five in the print function so we have to put the five in here all right and if we print this we are getting zero zero one two three so if we want our one two three to be eight characters then it will put how many zeros five i think right so yes it plays five zeros in front of the one two three there are a lot of things that we can do with these methods all right so you can google if you don't know how to use the help utility and then these then the doc functions that i taught you the other time you can also google around for string methods all right so if you search python string methods let's see what we are getting so let's go to w3 school and see what they have for us or you can go to the official so we have here a lot as we have in our jupyter notebook all right there are lots of things here but there is something that we should note here all string methods retain new values they do not change the original string because strings are immutable all right whenever that we perform any method on these strings they return a new value they don't actually replace or change the one that we ha already have in place so let's look at what that means when you take this one for example the name is equal to lower all right and we want to capitalize it so we can actually say cap name equals name dot capitalize all right so if we try to print cap name you will get lower but let's try to print name and you see that you have it in lower case not capitalized so if we print name here now we are getting the one in lower case because the method didn't modify the original variable it just what returned a new value because strings are immutable so let's look at what we also have we have title within a version of the string where each word is title case all right so let's say greetings and then we say greeting is equal to hello world every word starts with a lower case so if we print greetings dot title let's see what we are getting now every word or each word has been capitalized so that is what the title does okay so let's look at what we can do with other methods here we have start with so let's see what that will do within a copy of the string with leading and trailing white space removed so if we say print and by the way this start with returns a boolean value that is true or false you look at the boolean data type very soon so if you say greetings dot start with then we put in the word or letter that we want to see whether the string start with so if you ask whether the variable greeting starts with w and if we print this we are going to get false so let's print this false all right but if you say that it start with h you are going to get true so that is what the start with method that bye bye for now see you in the next video in the next video we are going to explore more about these string methods and see how they can help us in our programming